Can y'all see what that says? The captain is always right. And I'm the captain. <laughs> this is one of my favorite cups. Holding some of my favorite coffee. Quick plug, first buy coffee, link in description. And speaking of captain, I mentioned in the last video that I got a new boat. This is the boat. I just wanted to show y'all. But to get back on topic, what's up guys? I'm happy to see you here. If you've been here a little while, you may have seen my PC build. As a matter of fact, this PC build. And you see that graphics card right there? That is the GeForce RTX 2060 Super. But since I've been working on a lot of machine learning lately, my friends over at NVIDIA sent me this. This is the NVIDIA Titan RTX. Whereas that graphics card is, it's made with gamers in mind. This graphics card is made with developers in mind. And of course, I'd like to give a big thanks to NVIDIA. I would also like to give a big thanks to Ken G. He's a data scientist. He also has a YouTube channel. And he's the one that actually set me up with the folks over at NVIDIA. So thanks, Ken. Also, if you want to learn more about this, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I'm also going to leave a link to Ken's channel. So if you're interested in data science, check him out. You know, I've never been a fan of unboxings, but there's always an exception to the rule. I want to unbox this with y'all. It's probably boxed the same exact as any other graphics card. Oh, oh, oh. But not all the other ones are gold. That's sick. Very nice. So that's a GPU. Comes with an extra cable, quick start guide. And that's it. Simple. I like it. Now let's put this into the computer because I have a real world example. Something you may not know is that this is a really uncomfortable position to talk, so I'm gonna go sit at my desk. What I was trying to say is when I was working on the Tetris AI video, I ran into a problem with the program slowing down and speeding up once I impl implemented next piece logic. That implementation caused us to take the branching factor into consideration, which that's the number of successors generated by a given node, or in our instance, every next possible move for the current possible move. So instead of just figuring out the best place to put the current piece, it also had to take into consideration the next piece and where to best place the current piece in order to best place the next piece. And if you didn't notice in my video, there are some segments where I just had question marks for the time because in some parts of the videos, I would speed it up and slow it down in order to, well, speed up the video so you didn't just watch 14 hours of, of development or, or training rather. And those question marks were there because it would slow down and speed up given the state of the game. So what I wanna do with the Titan RTX is see if that helps the Tetris AI improve. And if it does, that's awesome. If it doesn't, then I may see in this video or next whether or not I can use Rapids, NVIDIA Rapids. I wanna see if that will help. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't done much research into it. I'm not even sure what it's compatible with or if I can do it with mine. I coded in Java and processing when it comes to the Tetris AI, so I'm not too sure exactly how it works, but I wanna test it out regardless. Also, I'd like to mention that in the next video or two, I'm gonna go over my whole entire Arch Linux setup. I also wanna change it up quite a bit because this isn't completely mine. I've made my own tweaks and whatnot, but I saw a, a, a mint that I really liked and I decided to roll with it. I'm going to go over all of that in that video as well as do some work in order to make this more suitable for me because I have ran into quite a few bugs that I want to hash out. And as you saw in the last video, when I popped open the Sonic AI, it was very, very much out of ratio. And that is also with me setting the proper ratio in the code. It is just because my operating system overtook the ratio and just put it into a window similar to what you see right here. Also, I just noticed that I'm not even recording on this mic because I forgot to hit start recording. That sucks. This is how it operates now without the next piece logic. It works just fine, very fluid. And this, you can even see it's taking a little while to load of itself. This is how it operates with the next piece logic. As you can see, it's very choppy and it, it's doing a little bit more thinking, which is okay because it's not slowing down the game overall, but it's not optimal. And this is, this is where I want to see if the GPU will help or not. So here's a closer look of the Titan RTX. <laughs> Y'all didn't even see the back yet. Look at that, upside down. Man, how cool is this? Let's hope it performs just as well as it looks. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, my chair just destroyed that audio, sick. All right, and the moment of truth. We're gonna see if this GPU does anything for this. <laughs> we have the next piece logic enabled and our goal, what we hope is that it will appear just like it did before when the next piece of logic was disabled. And it does, wow, I'm happy with that. Very nice. 
Many of you may be confused because this, this game isn't very graphic intensive. However, when it comes to a GPU, there's a lot more that a GPU does than just render the graphics at a, at a better rate than a typical CPU. Something with integrated graphics, right? Something I'd really like to do is take a deeper dive into that in, in terms of research. Just research more about what a GPU does, the lesser known benefits of one, and I'll probably make a video about it. Before we wrap up this video, there's something I've, I, I really want to test out with a new GPU. It's something I found, hold on, where am I going? Sonic AI. It's something that I found in the research for the OpenAI Retro and Neat and Sonic AI video. And I just, I, ever since then, I, I did it on my old GPU and I mean, it, it, it worked, I guess, but I wanna see how it works here. So what you see here is the script from last video. So if we come in and do Python Sonic.py, we will have Sonic running, starts at generation one. This is member one of the population. It'll continue to play each one, one after the other, so on and so forth. However, if we add in parallelization, parallelism, we can actually have the whole entire generation running at once, similar to how I did it in Breakout as well as in the Tetris AI. However, all of those, I was just displaying a single member of the generation. What if we wanted to see all members of that generation, the entire population. That's what, <laughs> this is a really bad idea. That's what this looks like. <laughs> As you can see, we're obviously going through generations a lot faster. Also note that um, this script does not close the windows of the previous generation when it ends. So that's, that's bad code, but I just want to see how this would work and it's still going. I'm fairly confident that everything crashed last time at this point. Not that it's showing anything anyway, except for this one sometimes. Oh crap, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to exit out of this. There we go, finally, good grief. I'm sorry, I just, I, with the new GPU, I just had to do it. Speaking of which, I don't know what I'm going to do with this GPU. RTX 2060 Super, this is this is a new GPU. They're still selling this on a website. If you have any ideas what I should do with this, let me know in the comments. Also, if you could do me a favor, remember there are three links down in the description. One is for First Supply Coffee. Also, we're having a sale, 10% off till the end of August using promo code AUGUST, so get your coffee. The next link is gonna be for NVIDIA. You'll be able to learn a lot more about NVIDIA and about the graphics card. I'm also gonna leave the Rapids link, NVIDIA Rapids, if you're interested in that. See a little bit about how it's catered towards developers, data scientists, folks who are doing deep learning, rather than something like this that is more suitable for gamers, if you will. And I'm also gonna leave Ken's YouTube channel URL in the description below. If you're interested in data science, check them out. I appreciate you watching. If you could, leave a like on this video, subscribe. That is, if you found this video interesting, check out some of my other videos. Maybe you'll find those interesting as well. Also, if there are any videos that you would like for me to make, I am open to suggestions. I love taking on new projects. And if you have any projects in mind that you think I would be interested in, leave those down in the comments below. I read all of them. So